Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're going to try a route today that goes over a railroad track. I've got it put in here. There's a railroad track about halfway through. The reason I want to test it out is because there's um, the railroad lights sometimes get confused for stoplights and I want to see what uh, what FSD does today. Um, we're running hardware 4 on a 2023 Model Y and we're going to see how it does. It is game day here in Iowa City. Uh, Utah State is in town. We're not going to be anywhere near Kinnick Stadium, but maybe sometime that would be interesting to give that a try. So I've had FSD for a few days now and have been just testing it out having a lot of fun with it. Been having some microphone issues, so I'm trying just with my phone mic today, but I uh, might invest in a better microphone for future videos. But so far I've been super impressed with, with FSD. So we're running all cameras, no radar. Did do a test yesterday by a um, construction zone. Ran some, ran through some. I uh, didn't run over the cones, but uh, it got hung up on cones. Uh, they were kind of sparsely spaced out and gave it some problems. So I might try that again later today. Uh, I get a video of it. So let's see. Pretty sure this is going to take us by a, uh, yeah, this will take us over to um, a road that'll cross over a railroad track. Let's just see how it handles that. So far, so good. No, I'm going to try to make a note of any takeovers that occur. This is an interesting road that it's taking us through. It's not typically the road that you would take. It's not really well marked. Um, lots of shadows, overhanging trees. So far, FSD's handling it perfectly. I think there's three, I think there's a couple settings on how, I guess, aggressive uh, FSD can act, and I don't think I have it on the most aggressive setting. Um, I might mess with that a little bit. That was kind of an interesting moment coming up over that hill. You couldn't really see over the top of the hill. Um, thought it handled it well. Okay, we have no cars to the left, so we should be good to go. And inching out and a little hesitant there, I guess just making sure. There's a pedestrian crossing up here, I'm going to be very careful in case it ignores it. Uh, a lot of bikes and pedestrians cross right here. I don't see that it shows up on the monitor uh, on the screen that it was a pedestrian crossing, so I'm not sure if it picks that up or not. Definitely abiding by the speed limit, which is 25 miles an hour here, which seems very, very slow, but. Um, a lot of cars will get behind you at this point and want you to go faster, but we're gonna just let FSD do its thing. Um, so here's the railroad track coming up. I'm expecting I'm gonna have to take over, but we'll see. I think it might get confused by the, by the lights that are on top and not know what to do. Stopping for traffic light, it says. Yeah, see it sees lights, they're blue and it's stopped at the railroad track. I'm gonna have to uh, hit the accelerator to get it to go through. That's definitely an issue. Um, it shows up as traffic lights on the monitor, but those are railroad lights. They're definitely not traffic lights. I feel like that is something that could be um, easily fixed if it's given the right data and um, told what those are. But yeah, that definitely hangs it up. 
enough to grab the wheel or anything, but I had to hit the accelerator to keep it going. It wanted to just stop. And yeah, I had to hit the brakes right there. Um, yeah, I wanted to run a red light. Not sure why it wanted to go right there. I'm not sure what it saw, but it looked like it wanted to run a red light, so I had to take over. Yeah, that's, um, so we're still on beta. Um, I'm gonna try that again at some point and see, but yeah, it, I, it felt like I had to hit the brake, like it was gonna go right through or start accelerating into uh, that intersection. There's definitely a red light. So not so great there. It's definitely a busy intersection, complicated with that combination of railroad tracks and traffic lights. I'm not sure if it picks up the sign that's on the traffic light that talks about yielding to the left. Um, it didn't look like it was illuminating all the traffic lights. And maybe it thought uh, maybe I thought one of them was green. I don't know. It showed red on the screen, so I'm not sure what. Maybe it was just creeping out to get a better view, and I kind of prematurely hit the brakes, but. Maybe worth doing that run again. But uh, other than that area, which I expected to have problems, um, the drive feels very, very smooth. Otherwise, so we're gonna hit. Uh, we're gonna end it here. All right. Thanks for joining. All right. I couldn't help myself. I'm gonna go back the other direction and see what it does at that same intersection. But yeah, everything else feels so smooth. Uh, just driving around these streets, taking the turns, uh, feels very, very smooth. A lot of shadows this morning uh, from trees, lights, you know, light flickering through the, the trees and cameras don't seem to be having any trouble um, with any phantom braking or anything like that. So we're going to come up on this railroad intersection. The railroads are on the opposite side now of the intersection, so I would expect that once we go through the intersection that it might try to stop again. Uh, at the railroad tracks, which would be super annoying. Um, but let's see what it does. Apply a little force to the steering wheel, make sure the car knows I'm here. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, it's showing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lights kind of flickering in and out. Uh, was showing on the monitor and two of them are red there's a red left turn signal I mean it does not know what to make of all of those lights um, when we get a green light it should I would expect go I just don't know if it's gonna try to stop again once it once it gets closer to all those uh, railroad lights that are not illuminated we got a runner coming from the right here, picked him up nicely. All right, so there's a left green turn signal going now. Let's see if it picked that up. I don't see that it's showing that. All right, we have a green now to go straight. Okay, so far so good. All right, well, Went through flawlessly on the way back. Um, so yeah, 50%, that's a failing grade in my mind. You gotta be able to do it both ways. Uh, definitely couldn't do it the, uh, the first way. Let's finish out this ride though. This is a nice smooth 
road. Let's see how it does just getting back to the uh, original point we set off from. Again, this is the 25 mile an hour zone. Definitely it's abiding by the speed limit, which is safe, but people behind me might not be too happy. That's okay. This is the pedestrian cross that we passed on the way out. I'm just gonna be super careful in case there's anybody coming. I don't see anybody. Uh, it doesn't look like it shows up on the monitor. I don't know why I'm calling it a monitor. All right, it's gonna take a left here, up this nice windy, steep road. Nice and smooth. A little, stays a little too far to the left for my liking given that we're kind of going over a blind hill. Um, but not terrible. We have oncoming traffic this time. Let's see if it stays nice and safely to the right, which it does. Yeah, it wasn't thrilled how narrow this road was. It kind of slowed down a little bit as that truck was passing. Nothing wrong with it. It was safe, but maybe not something a human would do. So yeah, running this hardware four guys, I mean, I'm super excited to be, I've been waiting to, to get on beta and I'm super excited about this. I obviously, um, you know, Elon tweeted out about being six months behind and whether we're gonna be able to get on version 12 when it comes out right away or not, uh, I don't know, but I'm happy now finally to be able to be testing uh, beta and stop nicely for this car on the right that did not have a stop sign. There's also a car on the left coming that's turning right and overly cautious with that car. I don't think it needed to wait. A human would have seen the turn signal and gone, but uh, I'm not sure that it picked up the turn signal. It just saw an oncoming car and waited until it cleared out. Uh, but yeah, overall, I've been very impressed with uh, FSD so far. I've only been testing a few days, and I'm going to be doing a lot more testing. Um, all right, we're coming to the end of the trip here. So thanks for riding along. We'll see you next time.